To edit the header of your Squarespace website, go to Edit and then click on Edit Site Header. You will see as you hover over different elements, they will be outlined in a blue border. So first here on the left, we have a site title and logo. In these settings, we can change our site title, add in our logo image, change the height and add a separate mobile logo for the mobile view. For example, if our logo is very horizontal and long, we would want to use something more short and stacked for our mobile version. The next element of our header is the navigation menu. Navigation menu holds all of our pages, like our main dashboard navigation for website pages. Um, and you can also rearrange them here directly. When you hover over this header section, you will notice just under the bottom blue line, there's like a little arrows on the very right. And you can change the height of your header by dragging the little arrows up and down. We also have two different editing buttons down here. So add elements or edit design. Under add elements, you can find things like buttons, social links, cart, account, or language switch if your website requires it. When you hover over each element, you can edit it separately as well. So to edit our social links, we just need to click on the little pen icon that takes us to editing section. And here we can play around with the design of our social icons. If we click on edit cart, you will see a lot of style options for your cart icon and you can also change the size or the border of the icon itself. Now if we hover over the button and go under edits, here is where you can change the text of your button and add a link so your button takes you to a certain page. You can link external URLs you can link files, for example, if you want your audience to download something. You can add in your email so they can contact you directly or a phone number as well. To link your button to a certain page, like a shop page or your contact page, you just need to type in the forward slash and you will see all of your pages appear. Then you can just select the one you're searching for. Under the design section, you have option to set it as primary, secondary, or tertiary button. And you can edit the style of each in the site style, which we will tackle on in another video shortly. Okay, let's move to edit design of your header. On this panel, you can change the layout or the structure of your header. You'll see there are a number of options for your logo to be placed on the right or in the middle uh, if you want your button to be on the left or on the right so just a lot of different options so pick the one that works best for your audience and the navigation of your website you can also play around with the spacing you can create borders and drop shadows and again each style comes with a variety of options you can use a fixed position of your header, so it is always on top of your site when you scroll back, or you can make it appear at the top as you scroll back. Under color, you can set a different color for your header. It can be a custom color or one from your color themes. You can also choose from different styles like solid, gradient or transparent. And there you go, a quick intro and overview of Squarespace website headers.